Okay, here's a little quick demo of how to do conditional formatting in GeoGebra. So when you're at GeoGebra.org, I like to use the GeoGebra Classic. We can choose geometry so we get the geometry piece to it, but then we can also go to the settings and change the or the view and add algebra to it so we can see what's being created. I'm going to pick a polygon when we have this show hide resources tool available. We can change the color of the polygon if we want to. We can change our point style so that they're not as large as they would normally be. And in that polygon we can make the segment segments thicker if we choose. And so we are going to create just a real quick quadrilateral here. And we can hide the labels for the sides of the quadrilateral, the segments. So right now we just have a plain old standard quadrilateral. If we add a segment over the top of segment AB, it's now called segment F, we'll do the same for DC. And we want those two segments to each have a different type of formatting. So selecting segment G, notice it chose segment C, so we want segment G to be chosen. With G selected, the style can have a decoration of a parallel type parallelogram. And the same thing for F, making sure we've chosen segment F, make it a parallel line. However, we don't want those parallel marks or those segments to show up unless the slope, I'm going to use a bracket here, of F is equal to the slope of G. And likewise, we want the same thing to happen with segment G. So the condition to show that segment is that the slope of F is equal to the slope of G. Now students may have difficulty making those slopes the same unless the grid is turned on because it wants to, it's better if it snaps to a grid and has a nice coordinate plane impact or appearance. So right-clicking anywhere off of a graph, we can turn the grid on. I prefer a grid that has settings that are major grid lines only. And we want point capturing to be snapped to grid. So now when we grab point A and place it on a point, on, a, on an intersection of the coordinate system, and do the same with B, same with D, now it's more likely that it's going to snap to those points and make those lines parallel. 